Hi, so I want to take a minute to show you guys the difference between a um, factory Z-Ray and a uh, fully loaded Z-Ray VN. And as you can see, the, well, I don't know, to me at least, the, um, the polished aluminum looks really cheap. The thread's fine, it just doesn't look very nice. And especially the front bezel. Here, when it's polished and you have it zoomed in all the way like this, there's a slight ring around the hot spot, the focus. But being sand, uh, um, sandblasted, the the glare is gone. That glare ring is, is just dis it disappears. And then, if we look closely here on the pocket clip, it it too looks kind of cheap. And it doesn't work too well because it doesn't stay on the body all that well. You can see it just pops right off. So, not quite functional. Okay. However, sandblasting the bezel front and rear improved looks for sure, in my opinion. It looks more upscale. And then, heat treated the... Uh, I heat treated the, um, the uh, pocket clip here. And... Looks alone. I think it's just it's, it's just it's just looks better. I guess <laughs> maybe I like it dark, but yeah, I, I think I think it, it looks better. And dropped in a little bit of super glue here and here. It stays on. It's not gonna come off, and it feels feels sturdy. Feels like a good clip now, where it should. It's not gonna go anywhere, and it's just right. So small little tweaks. But I think it makes a huge difference on the light. I don't know if you guys agree, but that's definitely how I feel. And I I would definitely have the front and rear sandblasted. Looks almost like a different light to me, almost. Okay. The function is extremely smooth, and I love it very very useful almost no artifacts and if you if you if you're not a fan of the square die shape brings it back in a little bit you still get a really large bright hot spot but you know much rounder corners and practically round from a distance and the flood is just amazing the tint is very nice also uh, so u3 pdtc with an aspheric comes out to be a very nice um it's a coolish neutral, but it's, it's very nice. I like it a lot. The function is fast too, but it has a really good friction to it. So it's, it doesn't like just fall in and out. There's a really good friction and you can feel the air in it because it's kind of like a piston effect and it's really tight. So I think that's a good indication of some water resistance. Zoom in and out real fast, not the lazy head twisting kind. So, I think it's good. The um, clicky is the reverse. And I think that is going to hold up to high current dra um, draw very, very well. This is the single mode version. And I kind of like it just single mode. But if you have to have more modes for longer run times, and I, I think the driver VN would, would you know, be great and a great option. Although, quite pricey in that regard. So, um, all in all, I really, really like this light. I think it's a one, it's a do-it-all light, basically. <sighs> I usually don't really make reviews for a light, but I just like this one so much, and I've been playing with it for the last couple of days, and I think it's just a really neat light. Hmm. All right, I guess that's all I have to say about this one. This one right now has the U3 PDTC, which I like more than the XPG2. PDTC because it's just have the bright the the, the bright the the uh, focus is almost twice as large uh, it's probably twice as large and um, I don't know I think it's equally bright maybe it's a, maybe the XPG is a little bit brighter but it's not enough to offset how much more lumen you have with the XML2 so XML2 is the way to go uh, okay that's all I have to say have a good day